Johnny here. So I completed the first step to creating my three-digit number system, and that was creating a hundred different categories for the number pairs 00 to 99. Now some of these categories are based on my two-digit number system's images. For example, 85 uh, for me is the Hulk. And so the Hulk, I created superheroes, the category superheroes from that. And so a lot of these different categories did come from my two-digit number system. But some of them um, I kind of just made out thin air because it sounded pretty good to me. Now, a challenge I had was making sure that the category wasn't too specific because the next step from here is I have to create 10 images for each of these different categories. You have 100 different categories and you have 10 images. 100 times 10 is 1,000 images in total because that's what I need to create. And so if I created a category that was too specific, I might, I might not be able to get 10 images out of that category, but also I have a specific code I need to use in order to use an image and so that just makes the category you know, a lot harder if it's really specific then some of those images don't fit the code I can't use them and so I had to make sure that that they were kind of vague kind of general but they couldn't be too general because what could happen is some of the categories would overlap then I would get confused okay Big Bird oh great was Big Bird under this category or this other category and so that's that's what happens if you're too vague if you go too general. So you have to do the right mix of specific and general, you know, like kind of right in the middle. But um, I'm feeling pretty good now because I have, I guess, four days kind of to create a thousand images. And uh, hopefully you know, I'll be able to do it in time. But yeah, so these are all my different characters I created. Some of them, you no, know, if you're looking at it, might not make sense to you at all. And that's okay because you know, they're coming from my mind and from my um, two-digit number system. Some of them might, like two and a half men, Mario, Super Mario, Rick and Morty, if you know what that is, a TV show. And so some of this, they kind of just um, you know, incorporate different things that relate to the images, but also I find entertaining. But also, they're going to allow me to create you know, the thousand images, and I think I'm going to have a mixture of people and objects for my different images. Um, you know, a thousand people, that's, that's a lot. And so if I use objects as well, it'll kind of make it a little bit easier and so some of the things um, might be a little bit harder to get like people from or objects depending on what the category is specifically but at the end of the day um, the different categories I made will give me enough images to work with to find the images that fit the code and that I can use and so I feel really good about these different categories um, when I actually start making the images that's when I have to start paying attention like okay does this image um, fall under any other fall under any of these other categories or no and so that's why I have to start paying attention though kind of making sure things don't overlap I don't have duplicate images because that's really gonna mess me up and so it's a thousand images so I really have to be you know detailed when create the system and so yeah and so uh, I guess I'll see you next time in the next video where maybe I'll show you an update of where of when I have 500 images or if I just complete the system, depending on how it goes, because um, I can see I'm gonna get frustrated a lot already, um, just because you know a thousand images is something that's not really easy to create, and so yeah. But uh, I'll see you in the next video.